Nigeria on Tuesday recorded 276 new cases of the novel coronavirus, according to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC. In its breakdown of the latest figure, the NCDC says Lagos reported 161 after new cases. Other states with the new cases include Rivers with 36, Edo with 27, Kaduna with 19, Nasarawa 10, and Oyo with 6. Four new cases have been reported in Kanu, three in Delta and Eboi, two in Gombe, and one each in Ogun, Ondo, Bonu, Abia, and Bauchi. NCDC says that 74 cases were discharged, raising the number to 2,385. However, the death toll rose to 249 as 16 more deaths were recorded. Joining us live is General Medical Practitioner Dr. Magdalene Okpotu. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me in your studio. The pleasure is ours. Uh, there is a brewing mistrust between um, Nigerians and the government about the reality and the seriousness of the COVID-19, with some actually going outright to say it's a scam. Doctor, can you reiterate the need for us to stay safe and maybe explain to us how important it is for us not to joke around or distrust the reality of the existence of this virus? Yeah, there's been a lot of um, people mis misbelieving the government and also the World Health Organization and the fact that the coronavirus is a scam. I think most people are, are worried and not believing the government because of um, the corruption that's around um, the COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria. Some people feel um, the government is just looking for an avenue to, to embezzle more funds and embezzle more money for them. Some think it's just a business scam. But looking at the data worldwide, the um, increasing number of cases, the mortalities and all, I think it would be wise for us not to joke with something that is capable of killing or something that is capable of changing our lives altogether. I think we should be wise enough to protect ourselves because denial in itself will not take the virus away. So despite the fact that there's a lot of corruption, there's a lot of secrecy, there's a lot of disbelief, I think every individual has the responsibility of protecting his or herself, her neighbor, and the entire community. So I would want to advise um, Nigerians as much as possible to be able to protect themselves and um, listen to the um, public health advices, hand washing, wearing of face masks, maintaining social distances. And if you have any symptom that uh, the symptoms of the virus like um, fever, um, runny nose, cough, and any of the symptoms at all, you should seek appropriate health care immediately. At because the point we are you now. Joke with Will, say, will change your life okay. or kill you. At the point we are now, most experts are suggesting that the way forward is to slow the spread of the virus. Does that completely rule out the eradication of the virus? Is it going to stay with us for a long time, as is being suggested? Yeah, I think so. The, the data we have so far... Um, it's proving that it's going to be with us for a long while. Because for now, we just have um, um, vaccine trials and drug trials, and we've not really had a definitive cure or a definitive vaccine at the moment. We just have trials going on. So I think it's going to take a very long while, because even when a vaccine is discovered, the, it, it will take a long time for it to be available to the mainstream. So it, it's going to take a very long time. So people will have to learn to adjust their ways, or will have to learn to live with the virus for a, for a very long time. Uh, some have argued that um, with the figures that we have, Nigeria and Africa, as it were, it's not as badly hit compared to the rest of the world. Is that the true position, or rather the lack of testing um, more is giving us this false sense of security? 
I would I would want to say that um, even though we don't have a very large statistics coming from Nigeria and other African countries, we, we could well attribute it to the fact that the number of testing is really poor. We have countries that are able to test 2,000, 10,000, and 100,000 cases in a day, whereas in African countries, we're struggling with uh, less than 1,000 cases in a day of uh, testing. So there's no way we'll be able to rightly say that we don't have so much uh, cases in, in African countries, especially in Nigeria, when we're not even sure of the number of tests that is being done in a day. Okay, so I think what for more us, can we do? We do that we, we are not badly hit, we should be able to say how much test is being done and if we are doing well. All right, um, just to wrap things up, um, how, what other ways, aside from what we know, um, will we be able to adapt to this new reality? Because, as you said, it's going to be around for a while. Yes, we, we need to be, we, especially as Nigerians, we need to upgrade our health-seeking behavior. We need to learn to trust the authorities that have been set in place to, to guide us and give us information about the pandemic. We need to trust them. We need to adjust our lifestyle. Um, we need to listen to health advices. And, and of course, the pandemic is affecting our, our economy, is affecting the way we do businesses. So I, I believe a lot of businesses will have to go online. Uh, so many physical interactions will have to be reduced All right, Dr. in order Marlene. to protect ourselves until, until uh, a cure, a drug, or a vaccine is made available. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Magdalene. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.